Red here. And today is another Atari VCS video. I actually turned it back into the VCS mode. So, let's play some Atari today. And if any of you guys want to add me on the friends thing, there's my name. I don't have any friends, so having one or two more friends might be kind of nice. I'm just trying to get the controller hooked up. <sighs> well, I'll just use the cable. Then, if it doesn't want to do Bluetooth... Oh, yeah. Okay. We got the classic controller hooked up. That's why it wasn't connecting. Okay. And uh, my pin is, uh, you know. Exciting stuff. So, welcome back to the Atari Dashboard. It's been a little while since I've been here. Uh, the only reason I haven't been on this is because, uh, yeah, well, I had it on PC mode and I had a hard time trying to figure out how to put it back into the VCS mode. It's not really that hard to do. I would want to do a video on it sometime, but, uh, yeah. So anyways, I just wanted to try out the new Recharge Black Widow and the Recharge Centipede. I heard they're pretty good. And I'm going to try them out right now. So Black Widow Recharged is uh, basically a newer version of the original Black Widow game. And I actually, I think it's kind of cool how they're doing these series. Uh, I'd like to see more. I heard Breakout's going to be one. And uh, also uh, Asteroids. They haven't came out yet, but uh, that'd be cool. And this has co-op as well. That'd be cool if they had uh, online co-op. But yeah. It's a dual stick shooter, so you basically shoot the the bugs that's coming into your web. Ah, and you gotta watch out for those traps. Because you'll hit one of those and it'll screw you all up. I like this game a lot, actually. I'm glad I got it. <laughs> well, I didn't get too far. My highest score was 21,000. Or 2,100. <laughs> Which is not too good, but better than some people, I'm sure. And it works best with the dual stick controller, the modern controller for Atari. You can play it with the classic joystick, but I don't recommend it because it's just... You shoot and you walk at the same time. It's not good. Definitely a dual stick shooter for sure. And you get power-ups. Yeah, power-ups. Kick ass. Yeah, I've definitely been having lots of fun with this. Holy cow. Poo! We gotta get these eggs out of here before they hatch. Yeah, we're doing alright. 
Uh, back to this. Holy cow, look how many bees there are. Oh my. Get the eggs out of here. They're gonna blow up. Ah, they're getting faster. This is even harder. Oh my. Wow. That was intense. I'm not gonna lie, that was really hard. <laughs> But yeah, it's pretty fun. And there's uh, achievements too. They're pretty, uh, actually quite a few. I only got, what, two of them? <laughs> so if you're an achievement hunter, you can do that. And the challenges, I don't really know what these are. Okay, so you can do different challenge modes. So let's do this one. Kill 20 bugs. What the heck happened? It slowed down. Well, what was that all about? I'm not sure. Okay, so there's like a slow motion mode. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I'm not gonna lie. I like this. The price is right. I think it's like 10 bucks for this game. So it's not too expensive. Get the egg out of here. Uh, I guess I'm actually supposed to be leaving them. I'm getting more kills on this one than I did the last game. Grenade bugs. Okay, there's... I got 13 out of 20 grenade bugs. There's another one. 14. I think the bu the eggs turn into the grenade bugs, so I might want to leave them. I'll get rid of that one. Yeah. Oh man. Well, we almost had it. So yeah, different challenges for different games you want to try out. And really, that's pretty much it. Arcade, co-op, challenges, achievements. Ain't too bad. I'm not going to lie, I like it. I'm not really into in-depth games. Something just to pick up and play for a few minutes is fun. And, uh, Centipede Recharged. Most of your people probably already remember Centipede, so... It's not much different. It just got a... Got a new interface and it looks cool. And it's pretty much the same as the last game. Achievements. All right, let's give it a try. Now this one, I re recommend using the classic joystick for this game. I like using it because it feels more like the arcade kind of feel. But to be more authentic, you really need to get a trackball controller. That'd be cool to play with this. You know, I was a bit skeptical whenever they announced this coming out, because I thought it was going to just be, you know, garbage, but actually it's not bad. I wish you could, like, dual power-ups. Like, if you had the bombs, you could shoot these and they would all explode, that'd be cool. But nah, it's just a single power up every time. Uh, that's. Shoo! What is this? I don't even know what this one is. Oh! 
Oh. Well, centipede, you know how centipede is. It's challenging, but not too bad. And it's endless, but you just play it forever. I wish there was like an upgrade system like they had on the um moon bait or what the heck is it called uh <sighs> missile command that'd be kind of cool but no nah, it's it's still a pretty cool game I like it as is not bad. So if you don't have the Atari VCS, you can also play this on Steam, I think. But the Atari VCS is the most authentic way to play it because uh, it's Atari console on Atari games. So yeah, I actually enjoy this a lot. I might play it. A, lot, a little bit after I'm done with this video, so... There's really not much to talk about, though. It's, uh, it's a centipede with a fancy interface. And upgrades. <laughs> It's challenging. Holy cow. Ah! There's so many of them down here. I hate this. Uh. Oh no. I'm stuck. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. I got a new high score. And the same thing. It has challenges. Let's try a challenge here, real quick. Pyramid. Now these challenges are kind of cool. Score 5,000 points. Shouldn't be too bad. Kind of shoot them all in the same spot there. Oh wow! <laughs> that was a new tr uh, power up. I never seen that one before. Ghost. Oh, that scared them all away. That's kind of cool, too. I've never seen that one before either. So there's quite a few different power ups I can see. I, uh, I don't know if I've seen them all yet or not, but that was the first time I've seen those two. I hate this freaking gun. There. Challenge complete. There, we finally beat a challenge. Alright, and then as you beat challenges, you unlock more, and you can try them uh, for yourself if you get this game. I recommend it. Ten bucks for each of them. It's not bad. I really do like them. So, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. And as always, keep it weird. Oh, wow. Man, I really gotta get my new setup so I can stop getting up.